Wouldn't you know it. Had to take the car out of the garage. The uh, car that's been sitting inside of a garage collecting dust for four years. Finally got it running here about a week ago. Had to take it out of the garage to be able to install the last door. And winter returns to Utah. So now the project is, once again, in the elements, covered in snow. I'm very sad, very depressed. But there is a positive. Utah needs the moisture in a very bad way. So we can all look at that silver lining in that cloud. I'm going to get it cleaned off, take a little bit more footage of it. Uh, just wanted to introduce you to this charger. Uh, very near and dear to me. I've had it for a long time, since 1994. Oh, interruption. The cat. This is Kuda. Kuda is lucky to be part of a Mopar family. How she got such an awesome name. Anyway, let me clean the car off. We'll talk a little bit more about it here coming up. All right. Most of the snow cleared off. Kuda. Kuda. Kuda coming back to hang out, doing what cats do. Anyway, back to the uh, the topic at hand, the introduction to the world of my ratty 1968 Dodge Charger. My name is Terry. I've had this car since 1994. I was able to find this car. It was my dream car then, and it's still my dream car now, maybe with exception of some options. But this guy started life off as a 383 Magnum H code four barrel automatic eight and three quarter car, which I still have all that business. The original eight and three quarter housing has never been out of the car, but I couldn't leave well enough alone. The 383 has been out for quite some time, probably since the nineties. I did attempt to put it back once. Had some issues with it, with my build, my inexperience. So, well, I found a 440. The 440 went in it. It was in it until I had some more issues. <laughs> Lack of experience. Whatever you want to call it. And after that, uh, man, at least two other engines. Had another 383 that I put in it uh, just to keep it driving. I hated to see this car sit, but that came out when I hurt the transmission and finally stuffed a big 440 in it and decided to drag race the car. There is remnants of a 1299 on the window. One of the last passes I made in the car. And the reason I stopped drag racing it is because I found another car that was going to be a dedicated car for the drags. A 1967 Dodge Dart. So the 12 second rocket went out of the charger and into the Dart. And immediately started running 1170s. So these cars are heavy. So four years ago, the Dart was purchased, the motor came out, another motor went in, but life, issues, time, etc. delayed me doing anything with it until just a few days ago. We did manage to get it to run. The uh, carburetor of the Sonnet is having some problems of its own. So tuning time, probably rebuild or another carburetor in its near future. But here's the magnificent 440. Hopefully this thing will be vroom vrooming very soon. I won't be able to drive this bad boy. Anyway, lots to do on this car. Just a little bit to get it going. Like I say, the carburetor, uh, some fine tuning, some tires. These tires are ancient. Uh, especially the backs. The backs are not going to live very long. They don't hold air. At least the driver's side rear does not hold air overnight. So it's got to go. 
So the car does need some substantial body work. Nothing like major. Frame rails are good on the car. The floor is really good in this car. But cosmetic stuff, some quarter patching for sure. Uh, it does need most of the trunk pulled out and replaced. The lower valance panel, the corners, pretty bad off. But it's all outer edge, outer skin stuff. Rockers are really good on the car. I will probably be putting a passenger side fender on it. Time will tell as I dig back into it. But in the meantime, the most important thing for me is to get this car back on the road and drive it as it was meant to be driven. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little video here of my car. I really enjoyed sharing it. I love these cars. I really love this car. And hopefully more videos forthcoming. The next one, hopefully some loud noises. Some good loud noises. Right now it's still uncorked. Straight out the headers until I get the exhaust fixed too. So that should be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Meow.